The Anbenik RG353M. I've shown it before, once straight out of the box and once with some updated Android emulators. Today we're going to have a look at it with the Arcos operating system installed. It is much the same as Batacera, which comes pre-installed with the system and is a very pleasant to use functional operating system with a couple of drawbacks. Its um, abilities regarding uh, playing Sega Saturn and PSP are a little bit limited. Uh, Saturn, it could do 2D games, but really wasn't any good at 3D. And the PSP was really quite good, but couldn't handle the really demanding games, specifically Test Drive Unlimited. So, um, what does this have that that doesn't? And what does it not have that Batacera does have? Um, okay. Let's take a look first at the things this does better than Batacera. So first of all, we're going to look at the Saturn. You might remember the first game I tested that wasn't up to the job on Batacera was Manx TT Superbike. So we'll have a look at that. That's promising already. There we go. This did not work in Batacera. I had to switch over to the Android side of things to make this game work. But here we are. Linux based. Arcos. And it's working just fine. I didn't have to tweak the emulator or anything. It, it, it just works. Which is very pleasing. So, moving on. Okay then, so, Sega Rally for the Sega Saturn. This would not run on Batacera. It tried, but it couldn't do it. So how's it going to fare here? Pretty well. Now, when I played this on the Android side, it would run at double resolution, which was very nice. Uh, this, I think, is at standard resolution. But, you know, th the Linux emulators are never as well developed as the Android ones. But nevertheless, this works, and that is pleasing. Because the more stuff that works within the uh, Arcos side of things, I think, the better. Because, honestly, I, I would rather run games from Arcos than from Android. I don't want to have to keep chopping and changing operating systems just to run a particular game. So here we are. Sega Rally works quite nicely. A game that didn't run on Batacera or indeed on Android doesn't run on Arcos either. <laughs> Virtual Racing for the Saturn um, it was programmed by Warner, Warner Interactive, and I think they must have done a really piss poor job of it. I mean, well, they did. It, 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 from other perspectives, it looks awful. From this angle, it looks a bit wrong, but you know, it's all right. But it's not fast enough here. It must be very, very badly optimized for the Saturn, they probably just about got it running on there, so if you're running on something less than perfect Saturn emulation, you're not going to get full speed out of this. It's a shame. So we just have to resort to uh, either playing it slowly, and uh, I don't want to play it this slowly, or playing the, uh, the 32X version, which does run very nicely on here. So that's pretty much the limit of uh, Saturn gaming on Arcos, on the RG353M. Um, yeah. So, PSP, the game that separates the men from the boys in terms of PSP emulation. This would not run on the um, Batacera emulator, or version of PPSSPP, but it did run on the Android side with some quite a lot of tweaking and I have done quite a lot of tweaking here as well to be honest. Um, oops, 
I forget you have to use the analog stick and not the d-pad but here we are on Arcos and it's working it is working quite nicely um, you are driving in the wrong direction please turn around yeah that you do hit some slowdown in places like that where it's buffering and it's a shame Oops. it means it's never going to be perfect and it can it ruin your game if it happens at an inopportune moment but you know my way of playing test drive unlimited is not to really i, I don't oops, i don't go for the objectives all that much i just like to hoon around like an idiot here we go the, the yeah there we go it was buffering and now it's running okay it runs better on android no doubt about that because the, the buffering episodes on android are fewer and far between than they are on here but you know if you just want to i'm hearing a spark song now all i do now is dick around and if you want to just dick around with this away. game then it's just fine to be running it for my cross uh if, if you really want to take it seriously you're probably better off playing it on android but still pretty good so another one I like to test on PSP is Wipeout Pure I can never remember whether it's Pure or Pulse but this is Pure um, it is a game where if the emulation isn't up to scratch you do get stuttering we had a brick there we go is buffering and it will do it on the first lap yeah okay I wouldn't bother if it does it again, I would definitely not bother. It's like, if you just get those couple of moments, maybe you could forgive it. Yeah. It's only momentary, but it's enough to break you from your immersion. So, eh. Ooh. Yeah, I would stick to playing that on the Android side. And when playing it on the Android side, you could play it at double resolution. Though on this particular screen, it's probably not worth it because the screen itself isn't that high resolution. But there you go. So, those are things that it does better than Batasera. Also, I got the ti 994 a emulator running. Having said that... I can't make the ColecoVision emulator run, or indeed the Sega CD version run, say version emulator. I think that actually is more down to having the wrong file types. I've got the wrong ROMs in there, or maybe I've got the BIOS files in the wrong place. Um, and that's something I need to tinker with. There are other things on here that are not on uh, Batasera. While I think about it, if I can find it. This, what is this? American Laser Games. I've got no idea. <laughs> I guess it's like Laser Disc Games. One available. What is that scan for? No. Um, no idea. But that's not on Batasera. There, there are probably people who know what that does and stuff. I don't. Um, there is one thing on Arcos that is missing that makes me sad and it's the only thing that gives me pause for thought and think mm, would I rather use Batasera and that is the vertically oriented arcade games um, I guess it was like a version of main but basically if you had a vertical game you held the thing like that and, and use the analog stick and, and the buttons and it was lovely and it doesn't have that on here and that is a real shame so it's like you kind of have to make a choice do you want easy access to Saturn games and and better PSP emulation and not have to go on to Android or do you want your vertical arcade games um, because you can't have both.
unless you you swap around operating systems you know you could keep Batasera in there and use Android for the better Saturn and um, PSP don't know it's up to you but that that's that's what you get it's nice I like it I think it has more um, configurability than Batasera you get access to emulator options and settings far more readily on here you can tweak things much more you can select what cores you use much more easily on Batasera quite often you just don't have access to that kind of thing um, N64 on here uh, I tweaked that to get certain games running better and certainly the controls seem to be configured better as well so you know, there's not a lot in it, except when it comes to Saturn games, and this, it kicks Batasera's ass on the Sega Saturn, which is great. Uh, also, uh, 3DO doesn't work on here either. <laughs> on uh, on Batasera, it ran slowly. On here, no, it just ain't working. You just get a black screen, so I don't know what's going on there. There it is then, um, short and sweet. I wish I could have been more comprehensive, but I am running very, uh, very tight uh, schedule. So uh, that I'm afraid is gonna have to be that. I would say it's definitely worth having a try. If you've got a spare SD card, you need about a 16 gig card. And while I think of it, because I thought, oh, it's not working. It won't read the card with the, um, it wouldn't read the SD card with the games on it. It was just looking for the games on the card that had the operating system on it. And I was like, no, that's not good enough. I give up. But then I Googled it. And you need to use... Let me find it. I've gone right... I've either gone right past it, or it doesn't show up once you've used it. But on this, uh, on this menu, in these options, there is an option to read game files from the second SD card. And that's what you need to do to read the games from there. Otherwise, it'll try and read them from there. And you don't want that when you've got a huge, great, big card already in it full of games it also looks for certain system games in differently named folders like I've got two folders on here full of Atari Lynx games because Batasera I can't remember which way round it goes I've got one folder on here called Lynx and one folder on here called Atari Lynx and Batasera looks for them in one and Arcos looks for them in the other so that's something to bear in mind um, but yes I think it is worth trying if you've got an RG353M or V or P or whatever the other one is um, I would say it's an operating system worth giving a try you might prefer it to the uh, the, the, the one that comes bundled with it pre-installed or you might not but you know if you've got a spare SD card knocking around doesn't hurt to find out I like it. I've always liked Arcos, um, as is the case with a lot of these operating systems. You've got to tweak it to get the most out of it. But when you do, it does give marginally better performance. So it is perhaps worth it, unless you really, 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 really want those vertical arcade games. In which case, Batas Air is the way to go. Or, of course, you could just carry a couple of SD cards around with you and swap it around and have the best of both worlds. Because it's not like a micro SD card is big. Though you do run the risk of losing it. There'll be those who said I lost it years ago. But, okay, thank you for watching. Patreon? That's not even a word. You made it up. <laughs>